Hello, I'm back, Lutra FM, for another Socio Football Manager 2024 episode. Um, basically, where you left us off last, we continued the start of the season. Um, we went on a bit of a decent run, but that came to a crashing end when we lost 2-1 to um, SM Khan. We've got a couple of easy-ish fixtures coming up now, and hopefully we can get back up there. Our aim is to basically try and get promoted automatically hopefully or at least get in the playoffs and i think we should be able to achieve it this, at least getting in the playoffs this season so hopefully fingers crossed um and when i come back in a sec we'll have the first game of the episode right so like i said um i'll just show you the fixtures that was so i think the games we played last episode was these so we got three wins one draw and a loss which is pretty good considering um we lost 3-2 sorry not 2-1 i said 2-1 in the intro but we lost 3-2 we've got Lorient. um that we've, that'll be a hard fixture but then after that we've got grenoble and amens amiens sorry and then we've got bordeaux so we've got two hard games and two easy games um and then who's and then we've got montepella and saint Etienne. so i'm i'll try and get to the point where i think i think bordeaux will probably be the the place where we stop this episode and then next week's episode will have two really difficult games actually three because Nimes seems to be a bogey team for us but anyway let's crack on with the first match of the episode we are playing today uh fc lorient this will not be an easy game i don't know why um our assistant manager's gone a bit weird here because he's got he's got um angeli who's normally attacking midfield center on the left and kofi on the right um, so God knows we must be really running out of right uh, right wingers, and we haven't really got many subs. Kalu is on the bench though; he's a right winger. That's a weird. Yeah, we're really scraping the barrel now. I'm gonna have to call up some of my players from the youth team after this game. I should have done it before the game, but I didn't realise how bad the the squad was when it came to injuries. I know we picked up a few. Oh no, that was a good goal. Is that gonna count though? I feel like that was offside. I think it was quite a lot offside. Yeah. Yeah. For anybody who wants to know, I'm wearing the Man United new Man United away shirt. Sorry, didn't want to go too far so you didn't have to see my big belly. Um it's not a real one, it's one of them fake shirts that I've got. Um I've become addicted to buying fake shirts lately. I've got I've got like thirty five football, fake football shirts coming at some point from various different companies. Um I've ordered some Five and six XL from somebody on DHK, and 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 I ordered that about a month ago, and it's still in customs, which don't make sense to me. Oh, one one one, get in. Maybe it was a good idea to put Kofi on the right wing after all. I've got to trust my assistant manager more. One nil. I forgot that other goal was disallowed. Um, so yeah, as I was saying, so yeah, so I've got that's still in customs. I'm not happy about that. Um. Ooh. And but I've got some others coming from two people I've used before and somebody I haven't used before but have a very good reputation. So I'm going to be doing a lot of a football shirt videos soon enough. So keep your eye out for them if you like that type of thing. Good little cross by the font, beautiful header. Maybe Kofi is better as a right winger. 2-0. Yeah, we are massively behind set NTN. Uh, I think for a second, we play the team that's in the relegation playoff in League 1, which I do think is a bit unfair, but I, I, I find it a little bit interesting in that aspect. If you're a team in the relegation zone in League 1, um, you've still got a chance of staying in the division because of the playoff. But I'm assuming whoever's in the relegation um relegation positions their morale is not going to be very good so i do feel like we'll have the advantage in that game but i could be wrong oh two one what a name charles pickle i'd sign him if, it, if this wasn't a youth only sam i'd sign him just for the name i'm like lelujo I, I like to sign a player with a funny name Vazl is not playing very well, but we haven't really got anybody. I know what we'll do in a sec. I'll wait for this highlight to finish. And then I'll make a little bit of switching up. 
Ah, that's not good, right. Um, okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to put, we're going to swap Baz with Kofi and we'll put Baluto in there. Let's hope that changes things up a bit. A bit annoying to go from 2 0 up to 2 2. Now, fifth, clinging on to the playoffs. Annoyingly, I can't do a shout. Bastions, knackered, put Bossy on. Nobody's, at, nobody's particularly playing bad in this team now. Took off all the bad form players. We'll just see what happens. They're now on the break. They could win this out of nowhere. This would be really frustrating. Good tackle. Right. I don't mind it winning 3 2 as long as we get there. Good ball. Go on, Angeli. Lovely little cross. Kofi with the ah, good save for the goalkeeper. Uh, right. Angeli needs to come off. I think we need to put on the back. Can't take any more players off. Thierry, beautiful pass. Bossy. Terry, oh no, get it back. Good pass. Oh, come on, Kofi. What are you playing at, mate? He completely balls up that shot. Right. It's been quite action packed this game. There's been a lot of highlights. Hope it, I'm hoping it's been entertaining for the you neutral fans here. I, I still haven't heard back from um, Socio's club website. So I'm assuming they, don't, they can't be bothered. I mean, it's only money. They're only going to make money me buying a shirt off them. But yeah, I don't. I think that. I think the uh, so the so show shirt is going to be an elusive one. I think. I just don't think it's going to happen. Right. Oh, injury. We're down to ten men because we can't take any more players off. Um. We're just going to go all out now. We've got nothing to lose. That was a bit of a waste of a cross. Went straight to the goalkeeper's hands and boots it out. We headed it out. Let's go. Oh, beautiful pass. Go on, Kofi. Yes, get in, Kofi. Gets his hat trick. Beautiful, beautiful performance by our main man. 3-2 to us. Let's see if we can see. The oh, we might be able to extend our lead here. Driven cross by the font. Headed out, though. Ah. Okay, I see where this is going. Three on one, basically. Yeah, there we go. Only thing that will then only thing happening here is if hopefully VAR will intervene here. I think this is disallowed. This should be disallowed. Yeah. Like poor defending by us then to leave one player against three. Let's just let's just keep the ball now. Let's see the game out. Beautiful. Hope he's offside anyway. I'm getting good at that. I'm getting good at sussing out this offside rule now. Good win to start the episode. Very entertaining game, I think, to be honest. The Bruns out for six weeks. Both with a great performance. How many goals has he got for us now? Nine goals in 11 games. He's having a really good season this season. He's probably on track to have the best season of his career so far with us. Uh, nine goals in 11 games. If he carries on that, he'll probably get in 33 games, which is what he basically played last season, he will get 27 goals if we're going to do the math, if it carries on the way it's going. So that will be the best season he's had up front for us. But anything can happen if you get injuries and stuff like that. Right, so the seal's out the door. Um, what we need to do, before I forget, not that we've got a massive squad, we need to call up all these players. It's only nine, but at least it will help out, bulk out the squad a bit. Right, when's our next game? Seven days. So you know what? I'll, you know what's what. I'll be back in a sec. Right, we're back. We've now got, uh, I think, an easy game against Grenoble. They have got Jamal Lowe probably still there. Uh, in fact, let me have a look if he's still there. Right. Jamal Lowe. Let's have a look. Oh no, he's not there anymore. So he's moved on. Thank God. He's gone to 
uh, team in Jamaica called Cavalier. Um, I swear every time Low played us, he usually scored. So, yeah, I'm glad he's gone. Then again, last season, he didn't really do anything against us when Grenoble played us, so I think maybe the best of him um, had finished up by that point, and he's just going to retire in Jamaica, which is not a bad place to retire, is it? Let's be honest, it's a beautiful country. We'd all love to retire over there, play football in the on in the sun. Right, so um, let's have a quick look. I think Fossey's is left back at, uh, in this game. Lafont's on the right, Angeli back in the middle, Didot's on the left, Kofi's up front, so there you go. Normal services resume the attacking positions, I think. And we've got a bigger subs bench, luckily. So, that's good. Cover us in case we get injuries. Here we go, talking of injuries. Uh, I'm not going to take them off. I might I might regret that. But no, he seems, he seems to have run it off. He seems all right. No, no, I'm ignoring it. I'll take him off after half time, maybe. Angeli. Pinto back to Angeli. Diagni, beautiful pass to Bossy. Uh, Bossy should have done better with that pass then. Should have gone for a shot, really. Probably would have scored. Corner to Grenoble. Driven in. Beautiful header. Fortunate to hit our player to then go straight to theirs. These things happen. 1 0. Try to demand a bit more. Throw in to us. Pinto with the throw in. 1 2 with Angeli. Back to Angeli again. Oh, that was a great goal. Absolute banger of a goal. Let's watch that again. Right. Oh, I need to. I keep forgetting. I need to. We'll do it just one behind the goal. We'll slow it down. And then. There we go. So, lovely little pass in 1 2 here, and Angeli just stuck at that. Bit of curve in that. Right, just need to get this back. Director. Leave them. There we go. Right. 1 1. We uh, automatically responded two minutes after they scored, which is good to see. There's a reason why we're second this season so far. We're. Uh, we're still quite far behind. I think we're now eight points behind set NTN. Obviously, if we win this, we'll close the gap a little bit. But uh, I'm just going to put the collar down because it keeps hitting my mask and then it's probably making a rustling noise, which is annoying the hell out of you. Look. Right, we've got some underperforming players here, so I'm going to take some off before this next highlight. Did I actually know what to see what happens here with this highlight? You never know. Beautiful little passing uh, sequences going on here. Oh, Thierry with a nearly with a blaster of a goal. Corner to us, Lafont. Floats it up straight in the goalkeeper's hands, unfortunately. Um, right, hold on. Every time I think I'm going to make a sub, we get another highlight. So let's just see how this one goes. Good tackle by the opposition there. Pinto. Oh my God, rattle in the bar. We're obviously, we obviously don't think the goalkeeper's very good, and that's why we're going for these long shots. Oh, bossy. Do the bossy bop. Bossy, bossy bop. Right, Kofi is knackered now, so we definitely need to come off. Um, we'll put Baz up front, go for experience over Muller, and then we'll put on, uh, we haven't got anybody to put on the right wing, so we'll just have to leave it at that. But yeah, 2-1 to us, 2-2, two -two. I spoke 2-2, two -two. first of the commentator. Right, Matthias needs to come off, I think, oh no. We'll take off Bossy's knackered, so we'll put on uh, Dolvin. Sorry, Boyvin. I do apologise. And then we'll take Matthews off and we'll put on Juliet, who hasn't played that much over the last couple of seasons. He did a right for a while. Oh no, 3 2. Ben's <sighs> having a right nightmare in this game. We've definitely got to hope these. Subs make an impact, good one. Can't, we can't make any more subs. 
Right, I'm going to berate the players. That usually works. Yeah, 13 points behind St. NTN. I think we're going to struggle to win the title now. Then again, in my uh, save with Dynamo Tilla Blissey, um, I was like 12 points behind top of the league. And then on the last game of the season, managed to win the title in Georgia, which was an absolute shocker. So if anybody hasn't watched that, watch that episode. It was quite good, to be honest. Because he also managed to do, uh, get Euro, Euro qualification with the Georgia national team as well. Right, Kofi's injured for three or four days. That's not too bad. Could have been a lot worse. Right, we're now playing Amiens. Um, I think we've got a debut for this player here, uh, Anthony Valmy. He is going to make his debut. He's not very good, but he'll do for now. He's probably the same as Kalutu. So, um, yeah, he hasn't he hasn't played for us. He's been here for a while, though. He's been here for a couple of years. Most of the play for the reserves. Um, we are really lacking in good players at the moment on the bench and stuff in the reserves. A lot of them are out on loan, I think. Some of the young prospects trying to get first team football. I think what I'll do is try not to send as many players out next season. Yeah, Kofi's on the bench for some reason. So I'll just have to trust my assistant manager. Kalut is on the left. Baz is up front. Uh, the bats in midfield. Bastian's back. So that's good. So, and we've got another debut, I think, for a goalkeeper. So we've got Martin Murray, which is not a very uh, French sounding name. He has not played for us either. Is he Irish as well as French? Oh, American, that's why. Uh, it's Pop Pop not in the team. So maybe the assistant manager thinks we're going to absolutely destroy Amiens and he's probably resting some players. I don't know. There must be a reason. Yeah. Hopefully we can get back on track with a win here against Amiens. We definitely have the quality to beat them. I do think we're better than them. They didn't have a very good season last season. I think they must. I think they only just stayed in the division, from what I remember. So we should be beating teams like this. Abdu manages to get the ball back through his failed pass. Pinto gets past the player, gives it to Angeli. This, I think he was offside. To be honest, I don't. I think he didn't time his run right. So we'll see. Oh no, I'm wrong. One them, one nil, good goal, beautiful pass, beautiful finish. We are eleven points behind Saint Etienne now. Even if we do win this game, still a chance. It's only November though. Uh, I'll be buzzing if we get second because then at least we ain't got to worry about um, the playoffs. I don't know actually. Maybe I've got that completely wrong. I'm going to have a look at the rules in a second. Right. Pause this. Sorry I'm doing this mid-game. And then we go rules. So, oh no, second does get promoted to the, uh, yeah, promoted to League 1. So, we don't need to be top to get into League 1. We just need to make sure we keep second place. Lorient's only two points behind us. And then you've got Poir, uh, Angus, they're uh, knocking on the door as well. And US Orleans. So we've definitely got to be top of our game. A lot of underperforming players here, even though we're winning. Definitely going to put Kofi on in a minute, I think. Vaz is not playing particularly well. That's going to do it now. A good debut for Murray though if he keeps a clean sheet. I know I've probably jinxed him now, but you never know. It would be good to have a goalie that can test Popal. Popal's been basically first team goalkeeper pretty much since the start of the save. Oh, look at that. No chance. Keeper had no chance. Too powerful of a header. Great goal. 2 0. Pretty much game over now. Got a foot under the door. Uh, Japanese not playing particularly well. Gillot on. Uh, up Abdu not playing particularly well. Put Mugin on. And then we'll put like, Kaluto, Kaluto off. Put the front one there. 
All right, Pinto to Gulia. Or Gulia. I think it might be Gulia. I'm terrible, but you know what I'm like by now. If you watch this series, if you watch any of my content, actually, you know I butcher people's names. It's just an unfortunate thing about me. I do think that's Gulia. Balmy, good pass to Pinto. <gasps> Penalty, come on. Let's see what VAR says. This will be definitely game over now if we get this one. Depends if we score though. Right, penalty award. Kofi missed his last penalty. Let's hope he redeems himself here. Kofi. Oh, come on, Kofi. Second penalty in a row he's missed now. That's not good. He's supposed to be our, he's supposed to be our best penalty taker. Let's have a look what he's like for penalty. 11. So in theory, it is right. If he if he should score every other penalty or just slightly more than every other goal, every other penalty he takes, he should score. Um, if he's only got eleven, maybe I need to do something about his individual training, getting better at taking penalties. I think that's what I'm going to do in a minute. The font passes it to Labath. Ooh, Balmy still has the ball. That heals it. Unfortunately, doesn't go to anybody. Yeah, the four. Yeah, I'd like to get in a minute. Development training. Can we do penalty? There we go. Penalty taking. Right, good. We are going to make him really good at taking penalties. I'm hoping he improves his penalty taking in the next six months. Because you never know. It might it might become an important time when he needs to take a penalty and he needs to know how to bloody score them. Valmy, look at this beautiful bit of tech as well, Valmy. Oof. Kofi nearly redeemed himself for penalty miss. But it doesn't matter anyway. It's 2 0. Jobs are good and all is forgiven, Kofi. Right, we're 10 points behind Saint Entien. Plenty of games left to play. Um, yeah. Right, so we're back and basically um, I holidayed. The French Cup game because it was against a team that we would have quite easily be in. I picked all my youth prospects as well for reserves, basically. Uh, the AO automatic reserves, I think. Uh, we won 4 1. Vaz, Vaz scored a hat trick, which is quite funny considering the fact that literally before this game I had enough of him underperforming for the first team. So I offered him out to other football clubs um, and then he goes and scores a hat trick. So I cancelled selling him at the moment because I I might still sell him um eventually. But yeah, so we won four one. But like I said I didn't see the point in you watching that one. Um so what we'll do is we'll do we'll play the Bordeaux game and then I will um instant result the game and then we'll call it a day for this episode. Um I'm trying to get the episodes under thirty minutes these days because I think with me, I've not built up the followers yet to give them give you more. Uh, let me know in the comment section if you would rather me do longer episodes. But if I don't hear otherwise, I'm just going to continue doing this. Um, but yeah, so we're oh, need instant result. I need to click on instant result then. So yeah, we're playing Bordeaux now. I'm just trying to see if there's any change. Clue is on the right. That's it, really. It's basically the same team. Pinto's. Not going to probably play the whole game by the looks of it. Yeah, Bordeaux are a tough team. I think they got relegated last season. They keep floating up and down the divisions. Corner to us. Did up. Riv drives it in. Bloody hell, look like he was going to shoot from there then. Has another chance. He's going to shoot from him, isn't he? Oh, get in. Lafont with the rebound. Did not get the assist because he the shot got rebounded. One nil to us. We're determined to keep this second place at least. Um, Bastian, did not. Another goal by Le another goal for Lafont, assisted by Did not. They make a nice little partnership. These two. Two nil to us. Absolutely destroying Bordeaux. Look at FC Mets. They're in the relegation zone again. They were like that last season and then they end up going 
Probably, I think they end up nearly getting the playoff. But yeah, they're not doing well this season. Baluto get fouled, I think, but the ref carries on. Trophy back to Baluto. Look at that, LaFont again. <laughs> LaFont with his hat trick. He's having a great game. Right, if it stays 3 0 by half time, I'll probably just do um, commentary only for the rest of this game. And what I'll do is I'll probably play the youth game, even if it's a bit one sided. The cup game, sorry. Did I say youth game? Cup game. Actually, no, I'll leave it. I'll leave it. I'll leave it as this. I won't bother getting rid of the highlights just yet. It just seems a bit one sided. It might, might be a bit boring for you lot. <clears throat> Pinto. Nice pass. Oh, a beautiful pass by Paluto to LaFont. LaFont! I'm going to take No, I'm not going to take him off. I'm, I'm tempted to take him off, but I want to see how many goals he gets in this game. He's had another game of the season here. Pinto is injured. Uh, you can only put Boss in there. Yeah, 10.0 game for LaFont so far. Rightly deserved. Did not should have a bloody 9.5 or something. He's got two assists in this game so far. Abdu's playing rubbish. So he needs to come off. Put Mugen in for him. Take him off just as a precaution. Uh, no, we won't. Yagni. Can we take him off? Yeah, we can. Juliet. Right, let's just leave it for now. Um, what I'll do is after this highlight, I will def I will probably put it on commentary. Only. Oh, Terry's got sent off. I won't be doing commentary only now. There's no now that we'll probably lose five four now. I think we better go defensive to be. On the safe side, I think at four 0 though, I, I don't, I don't think Paul is going to get back in the game. It would be atrocious if they did. Seven points behind uh, set NCM, but they do have a game in hand against us, so we'll, we'll class that as ten points behind. Actually, yeah, I'm going to go commentary and beer all day overall. So they've got consolation goal, hopefully. Oh, we've got another one, so we don't need to worry about it. Luto with a goal. Bastion assist. 5-1 in the end, not too bad at all. Very good result. Great performance by LaFont. So we've got uh, a Myra's for LaFont. Uh, I wouldn't be against selling him. We'd get a decent amount of money. How long are we going to tie down to? We're going for four years. Let's have a look at his minute. He's got a minimum. He's got relegation release, but we're not going to get relegated. So we could potentially make some decent money off him. Um, but yeah, I'll be back in a second. Right, so what I decided to do was holiday the game. We won 4-1 again in the French Cup. We'll have a look at the goals before we call it a day. Oh, I should have clicked. I shouldn't have clicked on that. I should have clicked on the other one. Anyway, good cross. Uh, Masson gives it to Vanavong, who scored from a lovely shot. And then we had Muller get a goal as well. I've got high hopes on Muller. I think he's going to be definitely better than Vaz. How, we, how was Valmy not offside there? I don't know how that was possible. He was clearly offside. Okay. Not complaining too much. Maybe I've got that wrong. Maybe he timed his run right, but he looked really offside to me. And then we had Samasa with a cross to Masson. Masson scored a header. And then, pardon me, and then Labat got the last goal of the game for us. Beautiful cross by Samasa. Gives it to Valmi. Valmi drives, drives the pass to Labat, and Labat finishes it nicely. So let's just have a look at the, let's have a look at the squad first. I want to see who our Heidi value players are so we've got obviously Cove from the main man and then we've got the bat LaFont but I think he's currently injured that's why he's not in here actually if I do 
What's this? Get away. There we go. So, I know Levant is there. He's not as highly valued as some of these. But yeah, if you look at these, we could. Uh, Levant's pretty good. Uh, Didot, he's wanted by a lot of Premiership teams. Maybe we could cash in on him. I do need to think about the finances at the club at the moment. I think we're over a minus a million pounds or something like that. Um, and even if we get promoted to League One, it's not exactly. I mean, you know, the situ people should know the situation at the moment in real life with the, the TV deal. They've got no TV deal for domestic TV deal for their uh, for their games. So a lot of a lot of French League One teams and that might become like extinct in the next couple of years because of it. Because the, the the downfall effect it has, uh, they can't sign anyone at the moment. We've uh, we've got a lot of clubs, we've got quite a few clubs offered in Lafont, offered in Lafont, interested in Lafont. So maybe Lafont or Didot might be going in the January transfer window. We'll see. I don't particularly want to sell any of them, but like I said if we get a really good offer for them, then we will. But there you go, two point three minus two point three million in the red. We're potentially going to make minus 5.72 million. And then after that, we might, we might, it might work out all right in the end. But by the end of the, the next three years, we're going to be minus 10 million. Have we got any clauses to cash in? We could cash in this one, but we're only going to get 22 grand. There's no point. Um, so that's about it, room. We'll just have a quick look at the league table. Like I said, we are now 10 points behind St. Antienne. Um, there's only been 14 games played though, so we've got plenty to play for. So that's that really. And we're going to do that. So. so yeah, so thank you as always for watching. Um, I'll be back tomorrow with a TW2020 episode. We are on Hot Club Pro. And then Thursday is, Thursday and Friday is going to, is, is the Football Manager 2024 Dynamo, Tillabusi and Georgia National Team Day. And then Saturday and Sunday is TW2020 Fight Club Pro. And then on Sunday is TW2020 um, Ring of Honor. So that's the rest of the schedule for the week. I'll be back next week with another So Show episode. So thanks as always. If you could like the video, um, maybe leave a comment if possible. It helps me a lot. Let me know if there's things you like about the episode. Or let me know things if you like about the So Show save or don't like about the So Show save. Uh, let me know. I don't mind negative feedback because it helps me at the end of the day. I'll learn from it. But yeah, right. I'll, I'll be back next week. Um, I'll see you soon.